Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for uh, inviting uh, Canton MT along to this uh, discussion. And uh, what I would like to discuss with you today is the challenge of a testing quality, measuring quality within a machine translation environment. Uh, I want to talk about what the existing measurements are and the challenge that we in Canton MT have taken on board to try and introduce a new measurement model that lends itself to the measurement of uh, productive uh, production and the effort that that will need and the cost that that will need. Firstly, let me introduce ourselves. We are, we are in the software as a service um, sphere. We are cloud-based um, machine translation uh, in the sense that uh, in order to use Canton MT, all you need is access to a browser. There's no installing of software, no buying high-level hardware, and no hiring of um, experts. The back end, which is the busy end, which is the complex end, is handled by us. The front end, we have made it quite easy and quite simple to use. And what we're going to talk about today is how we measure the effort of what you're doing and where exactly it sits in the quality uh, realm. Um, we, our, our aspiration is to make machine translation as usable as a web browser. It, to demystify the whole machine translation arena. There's been a lot of smoke and mirrors, we believe, around machine translation, and we're trying to cl clear that a bit and say to people, we can make it available to you. It's not as difficult to use as you think, and here's how you can measure the quality of what you're doing. Just to give you an idea of the scope of what we've been doing over the... We, we are running for about 12, for the last 12 months we've, we've been, we were open to um, people to come on board, to test, to use, to upload, and to see what we're all about. Within the last five months we have more or less become a commercial entity, although we still encourage people to come along and to test for free for 14 days or 30 days uh, to see what we're all about. But uh, we're... To date, we have 6,632 engines created. The second figure I had to get someone to explain it to me, that's 23,653,000,000 words uploaded, data uploaded for training engines by our, by our users. And the number of words translated using that uploaded data is 362 million world, a third of a billion. Now that figure grows by the day. Every day there are more and more being uploaded, but that was a snapshot from about three or four days ago. So we were talking about big data, huge amount of data is being used currently. Machine translation, I'm in the industry now 22 years. 22 years ago, I would have thought machine translation was science fiction. Today, it's just another tool. And by the day, it is getting more and more common for people to come to us and say, tell us about machine translation. Our customers want to know about it. Our customers want it. Can you make it affordable to us? Can you make it available to us? Now, the challenge of quality. 22 years ago, as I say, when I started in the industry with a small company called Softtrans, Quality was, was an absolute. A customer came to you and said, I want perfection. In fact, they wanted more than perfection. They wanted you to take their English, for example, and when you translated it, to improve on what you were getting, because there were mistakes, most usually in the English. But the rush to get the product to market, the, the English originals were infused with, with mistakes. We were expected to fix that. It was an absolute measurement of quality, perfection. With machine translation, and I'll use this little gadget, hopefully it doesn't show up. The bottom blue section 
uh, is, is the output that machine translation is cur uh, currently makes. And the gap between bad machine translation and the quality accepted can be big, or if you do it right, can be narrow. But that red post-editing effort is an effort at the minute that is difficult to measure and quantify. And that's what we want to try and do with Canton MT Analytics. And that quality target, as I say, is no longer an absolute. It's set by your, your customer, as it always will be and always has been, but they will set the quality that is acceptable, acceptable to them. And we talk, for example, about big data. That quality might be gist. They might need a gist of what's in those tweets or what's in those messages to get an understanding. We had a, a very large law firm come to us and say, we want a translation of 50,000 documents from German into English. And we said, well, what sort of quality are you looking for? They said, we only need to understand roughly what's in the documents. And then when we identify what's in the documents, we will then decide which ones to translate to a higher level. So that's, that's a gist translation. So that quality target could be that, or it could be for perfection. But what we want to do is give you a tool that measures the gap between your machine translation effort and the quality measure expected of you by your customer. So let's look at how we measure today machine translation output. There are a multiple, of way, multiple ways of doing it. What we, what we need within translation is we need to be able to measure the language attributes of what we're translating, how, how fluent is, 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 the, is, is what we produce, how adequate is it, how readable is it. These are the lang language attributes that we measure. There are also task-oriented attributes would be the production side of uh, a language service provider. Uh, what, how much time will, will I need to spend on post-editing in this? And that question infers how much will it cost and when can I do it by? And, okay, so I've just been told to speed it up. Okay, currently we have, if you look at the fluency adequacy side of things, we have the F measure, we have the Meteor, the Blue, the GTM, and the Terror. Most of the measurements that we currently have sit on the language side. The Terror sits slightly over on the production side. And the way these measurements work is you infer, there's no concrete measurement, and we're trying to achieve that. This is currently how our users would, would see the measurements within the Terror and Blue We've created a graphical interface of different designs. So the, the different people involved in translation, most of them are not currently supplied with the information they need because all of the current measurements are on the fluency language side and not on the production side. None of them measure the post-editing effort, and it's the post-editing effort that determines the return on investment in using machine translation. So the industry wants a segment-level measurement where you can go down to strings and words and measure the, the quality, and from that work out a schedule, a costing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And this is the equivalent to fuzzy matching, as, as in the translation memory sphere, which has been with us now for several decades. So what we have set out to do is create Canton MT Analytics, which gives a measurement of quality down to a segment or string level, gives it as an absolute figure, uh, so it can be 80%, 100%, 10%, and it gives you on a string by string, uh, segment by segment level. This is a summary. This is the back, back end of the summary. That's the front end that the user sees. So now the project manager is being empowered to be able to cost and schedule a project. And this is the aim, working with CNGL and ourselves, we have been working on this 
This is now in beta. Uh, it's been used by many of our uh, top users and it will become available uh, in early October. So it's uh, currently uh, under patent, so I can't tell you how it works. Don't ask how, what's underneath the bonnet because I'll say, sorry, can't tell you. But that is what we've set out to, to achieve and we believe if we achieve, and we have achieved, we are empowering people to take language, put it through machine technology, and come out with a very usable quality translation. Thank you.